a point P moves in space such that it is always at a constant distance from a point Q. What is the locus of P? This is a very interesting question. Let's try and analyze it. So we have two points, point P and point Q. I'm going to use this red circle to represent point P and this blue circle to represent point Q. The question says that point P moves in space such that it is always at a constant distance from a fixed point Q. So it means that point Q is a fixed point, that is, it does not move. But point P, on the other hand, can move. But it will only move under a given condition. And the condition is that it should be at a constant distance from point Q. The question wants us to find the locus of point P or the path that point P will follow as it moves. So I'll go over the whole question again. We have two points, point P and point Q. Point Q is a fixed point, so it does not move. But point P can move. It can only move under a condition, and the condition is that it should always be at a constant distance from point Q. As point P moves, it's going to go through a path. The question wants us to find that path. If we study the question carefully, we can see that in order for point P to move under this condition, point P will have to move around point Q in a circular path with point Q at the center of the circle. Now look at it. If point P moves around point Q in a circular path with point Q at the center, as we can see it moving in the diagram, you can see that at any point, point P will be on the circumference of the circle. In a circle, we know that the distance from the center of the circle to a point on the circumference, which is the radius, is always constant. So if point P moves around point Q in a circular path with point Q at the center, as we can see from the diagram, the distance between point P and point Q at any moment will be the radius of the circle and that will be constant throughout the movement of point P. So in order for point P to move such that it is always constant from the fixed point Q, point P will have to move through a circular path. This circular path is known as the locus of point P. So to answer our question, if point P moves under this condition, then the locus of point P is a circle with point Q as the center.